internal elliptical turning or ID elliptical turning. For ID elliptical turning, we need to select a spline curve. We also need to select our internal faces. And we click on redo and we should get our tool pass. And here we are. Let's look at machine simulation. Here is our part and let's render it. And here we see elliptical turning internally. with our part rotating and the boring bar following in X and Y and Z. Let's speed it up a little bit. Now this time, with the second operation, we actually do it with the part being stationary and the tool rotating around elliptically, doing the ID elliptical turning. This is the other way of doing it. 